So in March 2019, I had come home from outdoor school and I wasn't feeling very well that, that weekend. So I took the Monday off, plans on going back on the Tuesday. However, I didn't go back on the Tuesday and the secretary at the school got really nervous, tried to call me, I didn't answer. So then she tried to call Colton's daycare that he went to and they said that he wasn't there. So then she got even more nervous and called the police. They came to the house and they tried to get in and they couldn't get in. So they ended up breaking down the door and they found me in the chair, unconscious. She was taken by ambulance once they felt that she was stable enough to Foothills Hospital. She hadn't been responsive, um, obviously, during the coma in the very beginning. They weren't sure what they were dealing with other than that they knew that Sarah had had some strokes. Um, but little did they know that they were also dealing with meningitis. Um, it was pretty touch and go. It was pretty scary. Um, certainly with doctors coming in and out and, and uh, people assessing her all the time. And she did have a team, and I want to say it was a team, more than a hockey team. I think the one thing that I, I certainly take back from all of them is that at all times they were respectful, not only towards Sarah, but towards family and friends as well talking, encouraging questions. No question was considered silly. I can't say enough about the, the staffing. The, the uh, doctors were wonderful. Um, the young interns and residents were phenomenal. But they were always encouraging her. You know, each time there was a milestone, it was almost like she had a cheering section. And then it was like, okay, now how can we push her a little bit further? But it wasn't a push in the fact that they were being extremely um, pushy. <laughs> yeah, pushy. Um, but somehow they, they managed to make it in, in such a way that she wanted to do it. It was day to day, but every day I wanted to get better to get home to my son. It just means the world for me to be here for him. I have to say that our experience with the health system out here, I cannot say enough good things about it. You can never support groups like this as much as you'd like to. So I think that that is one thing that I would always say is if you have the opportunity and you have the time, please take it.